pretty rubbish day actually, not weather wise, but just getting that news about Freddie. Not only does it mean we don't have him um, and we're not traveling how we want to and we don't have content like we need. Um, and it's, yeah, not what we got a camper van for. <laughs> it really isn't. We should have been getting Freddie back today and the garage aren't ready. Um, we've been told by the, um, by the garage that they're looking at Wednesday or Friday next week. So um, it's not ideal. Um, instead, we're doing what we never like to do, which is being stuck in one place for what looks like it's gonna be three weeks now, so. Hey, um, but it is what it is and like I said we'll keep trying to go out we're limited because it's only where we can walk to um, but we'll keep taking you with us fed up guys I'm just bloody fed up with it. so the uh, so the drama continues we've just been to Peugeot to check up on Freddie and it's gonna be another six days because I can't get the parts absolutely disgusting the supply system in the UK is absolutely fantastic when it comes to engineering and mechanical car parts it's absolutely been ridiculous over here that would be a warning to you guys don't break down anything over here Peugeot they are going to use OEM parts but it's uh it's not so much just the cost of Freddie now it's the cost of our accommodation trying to find places to bloody live the hotel's doing us a real good deal at the minute so we'll stick with it but it's just money 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 but anyway we're not going to be down about it. Life is life. This is what happens. This is the things you've got to be uh, prepared for when you spend a lot of time in a van. And uh, we've certainly done that. So we spotted this tree and I have never seen one of these before. How weird is that? It's like a rose with the thorns, but it's not a rose tree. And it's a, a silk tree. Uh, Tony, Tony will remind me. Yep, silk tree. Yeah, some sort of silk tree. But check out the thorns on this bad boy. Yeah. Silk floss tree or floss silk. Floss silk floss tree. Floss silk tree. <laughs> it's got a Latin name, guys, but I'm not even going to attempt that. I'm bad enough with UK <laughs> UK town names, let alone uh, trying to do decipher a little bit of Latin. But there you yeah, go. Something different. Something different. We don't know about you folks, however, this whole waiting for Freddie Malarkey is beginning to wear us out. It's a little bit depressing, so let's fast forward a bit. So, we walked back to Gandia, we went over a bridge, Claire took a picture of a random balcony and nearly trodden some white pigeons. I got dizzy filming, we found a palace, the palace was closed, so we walked along the river and looked at some old graffiti and found a fort and another church. We go into the palace, Claire played with her camera, I filmed some wall art and some roof beams, because everyone likes a good old roof beam. We found some lovely floor tiles and inspiration for our bathroom at home and some ceiling lights that I quite liked. Some more weird paintings and a head. We stumbled across a nicely painted garage and some lovely kitchen wall tiles. We went in search of a bus stop. We found a bus stop, hopped onto the bus and went back to the hotel. And then... We popped down to the garage just to see how they're getting on and they're waiting on a couple of plastic covers to come in. So. That was no excuse for us to stay in a hotel for another three days. So we asked if we could take the van out whilst we await them parts, and then we'll go back to Gage and finally get them bits fitted by uh, Peugeot. Uh, incredible, incredible service by them. Their logistics is crap. Uh, <laughs> the, the mechanics are great, the technicians great, the helpfulness of the staff has been fantastic, but the actual supply system they have in place for OEM original parts, because Peugeot has been uh, rubbish. But there you go, Fred is back out there. We're now clearing out the hotel room, getting back into Freddy and then deciding where to go. We've got to stay in this area while we wait for the plastic parts to arrive and then uh, we'll be back on the road. But boy, oh boy, did it feel good picking him up from the garage yesterday. Let me tell you that for nothing. We were both very happy. A 
little bit of urban camping going on for Adventure Van Freddy. We're quite used to this area and while we're hanging around for the bits to come in, we thought we might as well park up in this great big car park. There's toilets and everything on the beach here, as well as obviously you can walk into the hotel. Um, so yeah, that's our park up for the night and we're not alone. So it's good to get Freddy back. Yeah, it'll be good to sleep in him tonight. Well, <laughs> we don't be, know yet. We don't know yet. We've been uh, treated by uh, staying in the hotel for so long. But hopefully we'll uh, get back into it. We need to get back into it. We've got no choice but get back into it. There you go. Well, good morning from our urban park up. Um, we actually had a really, well, I had a really good night's sleep. Um, can't say quite so much for Tony. But it was fairly quiet here and um, yeah, we had a bit of a lie-in, so not too shabby at all. Everybody else uh, is still here. All the other vans that were parked up are still here. Um, and let's see what Tony's up to. I think, ah, he's being a good van husband. Good morning, folks. From what can only be described as, I'm not too shabby car park <laughs> uh, is what it is but what was convenient here is because we've been in that hotel for so long we've been able to use their facilities so uh, that's quite cool this morning and it's just a uh, hundred meters down the road so really good uh, today's all about squaring up and catching up so we're gonna have to go to the laundrette throw it and that's a good thing about this place as well just three or four real real good quality laundrettes and they don't look like they've been open that long but they're 24 hour self-service so we're going to use one of the laundrettes get all the clothes and everything done so that we're ready for when the bits come in for the van we can finally get back on the road and see a bit more of Spain so the bill in the end come to about 2,500 in total everything else has been 100% checked and uh, thumbs up given by Peugeot and the bits all replaced so we we're very, very, very lucky. And it goes as a word of a warning there, guys. Make sure, just make sure you carry a fire extinguisher. We got through 21 litres of water. We got through, a, this is the, how it all panned out. We got through our extinguisher that we carry in the van. And then, yeah, 21 litres of water trying to keep that engine and the components cool. So, yeah, and then Claire ran off, got another extinguisher from a campsite and we completely depleted that one as well so I can't reiterate guys and you know get yourself a fire extinguisher put it in the van and put it somewhere where you remember so the household chores don't stop when you're in a van and um, we're off to do some laundry however we've just come across the market that um, seems to be surrounding the laundrette so we parked up to the side and um, yeah, we'll either go and wash our clothes or go and swap them for something. <laughs> <laughs> Good shout. Yeah, it's a whole street market here, guys, so we can do our laundry and uh, shop. go for a little bit of a walk <laughs> and shop. Just got to walk through the market now with a bag. There you go. Bimble. A bimble. So. Let's go and do some washing. Let's go and do some washing. <laughs> Just a little bit of washing there. <laughs> You're on. <laughs> so we're in the middle of the market here, um, lovely and bustling and something different from what we would normally do. No castles. <laughs> no. There's loads of people. No landscape photography. Yeah. Oh, oh there's some but, pictures. But no different to normal, we've just stumbled across it, so really nice. Uplifting. Yeah. 
So all the laundry's done eventually. And now, because the sun's out, it's meant to change, weather's meant to change in the next few days. So we're gonna go and head to the beach, maybe, just for an hour or so. And then uh, we'll probably end up staying in that car park like we did last night, um, because it's handy and it's quite convenient for Peugeot. So let's go and have a look and see what else is uh, around here. Through good times and bad times, the van just provides us with that outside living that we so, so adore. You know, and coupled with photography when we go to some of them stunning locations, Scotland, Norway, Scan you know, Scandinavia, Europe. Um, yeah, it's incredible when we're really lucky to be able to do it. And there's been some bad times. If you've been with us for a while, you'd have uh, been through them with us. In most part, this parts obviously we don't put on film. Uh, but Freddie's been through three real big battles, really. Um, and it's a, such a shame. And what really winds me up, and I'm sure you guys will understand this, is I meticulously look after Freddie. Um, he's serviced way, way more than what's recommended. Um, and that's got nothing to do with the problems. But it does wind me up when you see these delivery vans, like Amazon delivery vans, or people working for Amazon, abusing their vans every every way they can. And uh, as I say, we look after Freddy. Yeah, every now and then you get a big issue. But it does get expensive, and you do. Uh, you, sometimes we do uh, question if it's worth it. But we love it. We love doing it. So uh, that's why we're still here. So we're just going to head slightly further down the road and look for a park up because we're hungry we need something to eat. So that's going to be our park up for the night. Um, there's lovely walks around here as well and you're right among the orange groves. I think they're about a mile up the road here. So we're just going for a little walk. See if there's any vitamin C on the floor. <laughs> oh dear. But I'll tell you what, it's good to be back. Oh! 